I was going to go to time lapse, but I'm not because I want to talk to you about Richmond Park because Richmond Park is very cool. Let's um, let's bring this up. This is where um, they did in in the Olympics that were held in London. They did the um, part of the Olympic cycling course around here. They came down they came down my road and then they went into Richmond Park and they went round Richmond Park. So we're gonna we're gonna put some of this stuff in. Uh, now the road that goes around Richmond Park. I mean, it's um, it's a very, very small road. Let's put, um, I you know, oh, this is Park Road that runs up to the park gate, and all of the gates have names, and I can't think of the name of this damn gate. God, I suck. I'm supposed to be giving you all this wonderful information, and uh, I can't remember the names of things. It's like, like in the last episode, I couldn't remember the name of Clapham Common. You know, I was trying to remember the name of that park. And I was thinking, what park is it? What park is it? And of course, it's Clapham Common. Which I couldn't remember the name. Right, so we're going to go around this way. When I cycle, I go right, down the hill and then round here and then up this up this road, which is called Queen's Road. And I go round that way because there's a this hill here. Well, I mean, you're kind of screwed either way because there's this hill here, which is like incredibly steep and kills me. Or there's this bit here, which is an incredibly steep hill as well. And I always come up there and I'm absolutely like dying by the time I get to the top of it. Ah, well. Now this, this road here looks like um, you can get from, from here into the park. You can't. Cars can't. You can walk in here, but you can't, uh, you can't drive in here. So, what the hell's the name of this? Oh, this is Kingston Gate. What? Oh, God, I'm an idiot. This is Kingston Gate down here. And then if we carry on going up here, and I'm going to be I'm going to be really precise about this hill, because it's it's worth it. It's worth it, I think. This this hill, and it, the reason that this is like it's all straight, and then this is curved, is because they had to curve it because it would exceed the maximum gradient because it's so damn steep coming up here. I might, I, I, like, while I'm talking about this stuff, I might throw some pictures up for you. So you can actually see, like, what it's like in the park and how steep it is and stuff. Right, now we're coming down. This is Robin Hood Gate down here. And cars actually can get out of this one uh, onto, the, uh, onto the Robin Hood roundabout. Why is it called Robin Hood? Is it something to do with Robin Hood? No. Absolutely, no, I have no idea why this is called uh, like Robin Hood Roundabout and all the rest of it because it's nothing to do with the Robin Hood because the Robin Hood from the stories um, is up in um, Nottingham, which is like 150 miles away from London. The other end, of, well, not the other end of the country, but it's like uh, a long way away. It's in the Midlands, so halfway up the country. Roehampton Gate, and then this is Sheen Gate up here. So we can't see the full extent of the park, but I've got, I've got to move on with this because we've got, we've got like all the, we've got hospitals and stuff to put in. And this is just like one little bit of Kingston. And then we've got like, like the centre of London. Like how long is this going to take me to do, do you think? There we go. And now we're coming round to Richmond Gate. Here we go. Here's Richmond Gate. And again, this is a little roundabout, but if I put in one of the roundabouts, it'd be like so huge that it would be kind of ridiculous. So let's bring this back around here. I'm not going to be able to put houses or anything on here because this is this is literally a park and this is a royal park and the, the gates close at dusk and uh, nobody, nobody is allowed in the park during the hours of darkness. It opens at dawn and closes at dusk. Wimbledon Common's the same actually, even though it's common land. Nobody's allowed on the common during the hours of darkness. There you go, bit of trivia. Here we are, now this is Hamgate, which goes out, I was telling you about Ham. This is this runs out to Ham, there's Ham Common. The posh bit. It's all posh around here though. This is the Isab Isabella Plantation. The, um, and this is like, um, there are nice gardens and stuff here. And then up here, this is Pen Ponds, where I used to go for picnics. Oh yeah. So we're, we're going to just put in dirt road from 
this is ham gate isn't it so we'll put in we'll put in ham gate we'll have the road coming up here and we'll have the road that goes up to pen ponds comes around to here now this do you want to know what this there's a building here and this is actually the royal uh, the Royal Ballet School. Like, what the hell is it doing in the middle of Richmond Park? I've never been able to figure that out. But, uh, oh, you can see here where I've joined the map together. How about that? There you go, see? I wasn't lying. And right, so we'll come around and we'll join up at um, Robin Hood Gate over here. There we go. Right, cool. Right, am I going to put in all of the little roads that run, all the little dirt roads that run over here? Of course not, I'm not blooming crazy. Right, so that'll do for that. Right, now let's go back to Kingston Town Centre. Let's, um, let's do a bit more with the roads. So, we want to come down and we want to put this road in. Because this is the road that goes up to Norbiton Station. So this is kind of important. Um, the thing is, I th I, I'm, I'm trying to straighten this road up a little bit. Otherwise I won't be able to get the station in. And I'm thinking we may give Kingston Station a miss and uh, and just start from like Norberton Station. But we'll see. We'll see. And that goes from um, from uh, from Kingston to Norberton to uh, New Malden, which I'll show you in a second. I'm putting in Coombe Lane at the moment. And Coombe Lane runs round here and past the new Victoria Hospital and then it goes across the A3 and I do want to put this in because this is a this is a, an elevated section which goes across here and it's got this this really stupid set of uh, connections and whatever we'll do that we'll do that I don't know whether I'm going to do it like right now I, I, I'll probably do that at some point in a time lapse but but I am going to elevate it now so page up I'm going to try and do this blindfold and then to there, and then page down to there. And there's a bunch of shops here. We'll put that. We'll put the shops in for sure. So that. You know what? I'm going to put this section in because this is the section that goes across to um, to Wimbledon. And let's straighten that up. And this goes um, this goes through New Malden, which again is where the train is, which is which will be handy. Because what I want to do, and the, kind of the reason I'm doing this, um, I want to put in um, uh, Norberton and uh, New Malden, and then it joins up at uh, at New Malden with another line, and then it joins up at the next station, Rains Park, uh, with another with uh, uh, the main line which goes up to Waterloo, and then it goes through Wimbledon and Clapham Junction, and you've got Clapham Junction, which is the busiest. Somebody pulled me up because I said it's the I said it's the busiest uh, train station in London, and uh, he said, "Oh, it's not the biggest. Um, so and so is the biggest. It's got more platforms and whatever." Yeah, I know. I didn't say the biggest. I said the busiest. It has more trains go through it than any other station in London. And if you don't believe me, go and Google it. So there, shush. Right, um, so that's that, and I want to I want to put that line in. That line's going in really soon. We're going to do the train line up to Waterloo. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I thought I already put this in, but I didn't. Okay, so let's put this up here. Now I'm, I'm going to fill all these in, and we'll have. Um, I'm, now for this, I'm going to be using the terraced houses because one of the things that Kingston is famous for is the um, the Victorian terraced houses. And like this area here is all the, like really dense with these Victorian terraced houses, and uh, so those terraced houses are going to be like perfect for that. So let's run round here, round to here, and then we join up with this road. Will you, will you join up with that? Hopefully. So I'll put in, I'll put in houses and fill all this in, and I'll probably put this road in round. Um, Ham Common. Um, got to put. Got to do Ham Gate. Got to do Ham Gate. We can't miss that out. Come on. So we'll have this down to there, and then we'll put the other side in up here, up here, around the corner. Hook that up there. I can't wait to put all this estate in. It's going to be really cool. And we'll put. Um, Probably put, I, will I put Tiffin's Girl School in? Don't know. Don't know. 
Maybe. Maybe. Right, so I need to put Galsworthy Road in so that we can put the hospital, because the, the main hospital entrance is on this side. It's on Galsworthy Road. Although the, there is an entrance here as well. But, um, <laughs> like, as if you needed to know that. But, hey, it is what it is. Now, if I'm, I'm going to try putting a road up here, and then we'll see, like, can I even fit a hospital in? Now, this is a big hospital, right? This is like a proper major hospital. Uh, and I've just put that in with a bloomin' six-lane road, which I didn't mean to do. So let's downgrade that to a two-lane road. There we go, there we go. Right, but I'll bet you I can't fit a hospital in here. I bet you a hospital is way too big to fit in here. Right, so what I want... A... Oh, no, no, no! I can. I know I can get a hot, big hospital in. Ho, 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 ho! Awesome source! Now, where am I going to put it? Because um, there's... Like down the bottom here, yeah, I'm going to put it like up in this corner, which is kind of where it is. There's um, there's grass and trees and stuff over there. There's actually tennis courts over here, which belong to the hospital. It's for the nurses. There's nurses accommodation and stuff. Um, look at that big hospital. Whoa! It's not it's not that tall though. <laughs> it's only like I think like maybe three stories maximum. Right, uh, we've got to put electricity. Right, we need to pause it now because I'm going to be putting these buildings in. Right, so um, where's Tiffin School? Tiffin School is down here, isn't it? So let's uh, bring them up. Yeah, yeah, Tiffin School's down here. So now, oh, schools. Yeah, while I'm on the subject, schools. Oh, and in fact, I've got to go back over to... I've got to go back over here because oh, I forgot to do this last time. Um, I put in this road, right, specifically because... There is a school here, all right? Uh, somebody left me a comment. Somebody lives here, and they said, um, you put in the elementary school. This is the elementary school. You should have put it a little bit further up the road because there is um, a, a school called Whitgift's, Whitgift School. But Whitgift School is, an, uh, is a high school, uh, what we call a secondary school. We, um, these elementary schools, we call these primary schools and then secondary schools. Um, but if you take a regular high school, look at the size of these damn things. They are huge. So I had a look and I found a couple of alternatives. Oh, you can just about get that in. But it's like ridiculously big. Like why the, why the hell is a high school? It's one of the biggest damn buildings in the game. It's, it's like, uh, school should not be that big. So I, I went and I found two alternatives. There's this one. Now this is actually um, a Russian building, um, and it's called the the old the old high school, right? And it's um, it looks it looks like a bit like a stately home. Um, and and then there's another one which I found, which is this one, which is the big. It's called the big modern high school, but it's like it's tiny compared with this stupid thing. So. Now, Whitgift School is, um, it's not quite as, the building's not quite as old as that, but it's not a modern building. But I'm going to, I'm going to go with the modern one, just because I want to show it to you. So, we'll put, um, we'll put Whitgift Secondary School in. There you go. So, we'll, we'll even put it in. So, this is, um, Whitgift School. There we go. So that's that done. There we go. Right. Goodbye. We're going back over to Kingston again, and we're going to put in. Uh, we're going to put in Tiffin's uh, School for Boys. And uh, what else are we going to put in? This. Uh, how big is the damn train station? Now there is another train station that I was looking at, which is called the Rural um, Train Station. Um, see. The train station, I mean, we we could cram it in, kind of, sort of, just about. Um, I, I would like to, I have to say, I would like to have Kingston Station in. I may have to kind of maybe just adjust this a little bit. Okay, whatever. Let's put, um, first of all, oh, and buses, buses, we're going to put buses in as well, guys. Oh, God, there's so much to put in. Um... Let's go to schools first. Right, Tiffin School for Boys. I'm going to put in an elementary school. So that's going in there. Right, we've got Tiffin School. Cool. 
We um, the, now I see. I wanted to put the bus depot in, but let me bring the map up for a second because I'll, I'll kind of show you. Uh, I wanted to put the the bus depot in because I've got a bus mod as well. Ha ha ha! See the 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 train station is actually over here, and then the bus depot is um, is actually here. So I think we're going to have to like adjust a little bit and kind of tinker just to kind of make it work. I, the, I want to put the bus depot in because I want to put the bus line in. There's a bus line which runs from Kingston and it goes uh, past my house and it goes d uh, up the A3. This is Roehampton Lane here and it goes, um, it, it actually goes all around the blooming houses around this housing estate over here and then it cuts across uh, Roehampton Lane and then uh, almost joins back up with the M3 at Tibbetts Corner and then goes down to Putney and just goes across the river and then there's a, another bus depot here and that's the route of the 85. It takes blooming 45 minutes to get from Kingston to Putney on the bus. Freaking nightmare. And there's no other direct connection. There, there isn't a direct train or the tube or anything. Kingston's right, really nice in that it's like really picturesque and all that kind of stuff. But for transport, pff, pick somewhere else. Like Surbiton. Surbiton is just down here, right? And Surbiton's awesome. The train from Surbiton is on the, on the main line. Uh, it's not like... Um, Kingston's on kind of a side line. Surbiton's on the main line. And there are non-stop trains from Surbiton right into Waterloo. You can get to Waterloo in like 12 minutes. As opposed to from uh, Kingston, it's like 35 minutes. Makes a hell of a difference to your commute. Surbiton's a much better place to live than Kingston. Shopping's better in Kingston, though. We've got the best shopping centre. Shall I shut up and do more building? Or? We're going to kind of, like, adapt. So what we're going to do, we're going to cram the train in. We're going to put the train in. And we'll jam a train station in there. Right, so the, the train station is in kind of, sort of, ish the right place. But look, there's another train station, like, right here. <laughs> so, it, it <laughs> I don't know, it seems kind of crazy to put two train stations in so close together. But I think maybe we either skip Kingston and just put Norberton in, which might be the more sensible idea. Yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll have the train station in there. Okay, that's cool. And that's that's you know this is all right you know you got the you got the train station up here and then you walk up here and you walk past the hospital. So I like from the train station I walk up here and I walk past the hospital and then go up my road up there. There you go. So what we can do now is because I've got rid of Kingston train station. I mean it would be kind of crazy having a train station there and there. We can put the bus depot in. Ha ha ha. So yes, we're going to have a bus depot. Oh yeah. And I've got the Route Master mod for red double decker buses. Oh yeah. So we're gonna have those. So I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put this in. Um, this is where it is, so that's where the de bus depot would be. So that's going in there. Okay, a few more important details and then I'll like fill this in with um, with the little roads and, and I'll whack all the all the houses into all the zoning. So, um, what are the little, the important little details? Well, I need to bring the map up again because this is this is very very important uh, because down here we've got Crescent Road and Liverpool Road, and Crescent Road is very very important. Uh, let's take from here and go. Oh, I want free form. Um, I'll tell you. Let me put the road in, and then I'll tell you why it's so desperately important because. And to there and to there, right? Um, just here, this little bit here, between this road and this road, there are some shops here, and one of these shops is um, a newspaper shop, and that's where I buy my newspaper and stuff like that. Uh, like if I if I get a craving for chocolate, that's where I go. Um, so I've got my I've got my paper shop in now. What else? Oh, now where do I do my shopping? Oh, this bit's important. This bit's really important. Let's let's um, let's put this little road in here. Now this should be tarmac. That bit. There we go. Right. So we've got the we've got the Robin Hood roundabout in, which isn't a roundabout. I don't know. I, I'm kind of tempted to play around with this and see if I can actually get some kind of thing 
sorted out here, but I don't know. It's going to be kind of difficult. I guess I could maybe do this with like two two lane one way roads here and put the island in them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But if you come up here, let me bring the map up again. This is why I wanted a detailed map in here because I wanted to show. I wanted to show you this. Oh, and I've got to put the university in. Oh man. So many things to put in. Um, here is the, the Roehampton Asda. And this place is huge, right? This is like a blooming aircraft hangar, this place. Mammoth place. Now, why am I talking about this? Because I want to show you these mods. Um, and they're in level two unique buildings. Here we go. Level two. There are all of these retail buildings. Um, and... It, I, I, well, I've already told you about the mods, and they're in the collection. And where's where's Asda? So there's Tesco. I'll put Tesco in. But where's Asda? Here's I think this is Asda. Is this Asda? I can't tell. No, no, that's DFS. Where's Asda? Asda's up here. Uh, White trials. Asda. Here's Asda. So we can put Asda in, and it's about the right size. So we we'll put Asda there. Uh, boom. That's there, there. Now, next to Asda, just up here, there's a, a big cemetery. So I'm going to put in a cemetery. I'm going to be try and be as accurate with these things as I can. So we're going to put a cemetery up here. So, boom, that's the cemetery. Right. Now, Kingston University, the, um, like the main part of the university is kind of over here. But this is more of a campus over here. So I'm going to put it in here. Um, let me bring up, the, bring up the map so you can see. Now, it's, it says it's got the writing over here, but it's actually this part here. And there's a, but, but there is a, like a, there's a housing estate here. And Oh, there's Robin Hood Lane. See, Robin Hood Lane. There you go. Right, uh, where's the university? So, uni uh, this is going to be huge, isn't it? This is going to be like freaking monstrous down here. And, of course, it's not going to fit on the road. But there is a road that comes off here down to the university. So, you know what? Oh, hang on. It'll go there. It'll go there. We're going to put it there. Boom. We've got Kingston University. Woohoo! Let's drop the map and see what it looks like. This thing's huge. And look how it deforms the terrain. You know, on, on even on this tiny, gentle slope, I've tried to be, I've tried to smooth this as much as possible, and you still get these ridiculous things. Now, this is pretty heavily wooded around here, but I've got to put in a little bit of residential down here. I'll put some little, I'll put a little road and put some little bit of residential and stuff around there. Um, and we've got all the golf courses, and then I've, got, I've, I've put this road in, and I'll put some of these side roads in. Yeah, okay, you know what? I think it's time-lapse time while I, I finish off some of these roads and do some zoning.
Right, um, this round here will zone in as the town centre. So, well, oh, we've got to have a white trose. There's a, there's a big white trose in. Yeah, we, well, we're putting white trose in. How does that look, actually? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of all right. And it is a bit retail parkish. Um, it's, so the thing is, Waitrose is actually underground. There's a big John Lewis on top. It's more like a de the department store than it is like that. But, you know, I'm going to leave that in for kind of for now, I think. Now, these are, yeah, these are expensive. You know what, we're going to turn that off. Um, the train station we're not going to be using for a while, so we're going to turn that off. We will need the... Um, the, the hospital that's for sure now the university over here we're going to turn that off for now and we're going to turn off uh, yeah we're going to turn off the cemetery and we're going to turn off uh, Asda am I yeah we're going to turn off Asda for now because just because I'm trying to save cash right what else what else what else what else Right then, the like pretty much the rest of it is um, is residential, but there are a few little bits of commercial. Like I said, opposite the um, opposite the hospital, there's um, some commercial up here. This area here. Uh, I only want to zone it too wide though. So there we go. So we've got that little bit up there. In fact, we can bring that a bit further down because, like all along here, is uh, is commercial. Okay, so that's cool. And on this corner here, this is um, shops. Loaded, loads of shops. Well, I say loads of shops, not loads of shops, but there's there's a bunch of shops. My dentist's up here, actually. If the or if it's cheated, oh, is it up here? I'm on this corner, there's a little road, side road. There you go. <laughs> God, all the trivia, all the trivia that you're learning about, right? We want to trim that back. We'll uh, we'll make that and. We'll make that a two by two and we'll have that as well and yeah there are some shops there all right we'll extend that and we'll extend that to there okay cool right that's so that's that where else are there shops um oh, oh 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 i've got to put my little shop in haven't i oh dear almost forgot um we won't put it there we'll put it there and there's, there is actually the the right shop. It's a, it's a Londis. Yeah, the Americans won't know what the hell I'm talking about. The Brits will. There's a, there's a it's a little Londis newspaper shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can whack in like a whole bunch of residential. All of this is residential. I was going to show you uh, Mick Jagger's house, wasn't I? In Richmond. Never did that. Where's Mick Jagger's house? Mick Jagger's house. So the Petersham is here, right? Um, this road that goes along here, Richmond Hill. So it's a little bit, it's actually like, if this, if this is the actual river, it would be kind of like here. And it's overlooking the river. And he's got a he's got a place up here on Richmond Hill. Apparently. Apparently. I've not been there, but apparently. Um, I've, well, I've been to the area, but I haven't been to, I haven't been to Mick Jagger's house. Now, I'm going to have to put some power in, because we're going to need some more electricity. Uh, what, how am I going to do that? Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Like, for now... This, this bit won't be accurate, but I'm going to run a road right down here. And we'll put in um, we'll put in one of Gula's coal power stations again down here. Uh, if I can get the fit. There we go. Right, so we put that in. Then we'll run some power from there up the side of the river. These power, these power lines are not staying for very long. That's a darn sure. Let's run those up there. So we, now we need some, uh, we need some water. Let's, let's quickly throw in some water. I'm going to do this as quick as I possibly can. Okay, so that's all the water pipes put in, which hopefully is covering pretty much everything. Oh, I haven't done up the A3. Let's just put that in quickly. Boom. And uh, do I do Roehampton Lane? Yeah, I suppose I should. Let's do Roehampton Lane quickly, and we'll cover this bit down here. Boom. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's go back to the zoning. Did I? Yeah, I've zoned all of this in, so it's a good job I just covered that. Uh, right. You know what? The, actually, this this stretch down here, that shops. There we go. Right. So cool. I think we're done. 
I'm probably going to have to throw some power in here uh, like to help this grow and whatever. But you know what? Should we just kind of switch it on and see what happens? Let's do it. Okay, well, at that point, we're running into sewage problems. So we're going to have to put in some extra sewage uh, right up here, right on the other side of the Murman map. Right, a couple of finishing touches. We'll put in uh, we'll put in an extra bit of sewage over here. Boom, and that's all, all, already hooked up to the pipe, so that's good. And you'll notice I put in... Um, I put in a, a, a wind turbine to power these uh, and then took out all of the power lines uh, just to save some money because because uh, it made sense right so hopefully that will solve our sewage problems good that's done now there is uh, a recycling plant uh, over here so I might put um, an incinerator over here it's on uh, Villiers Road down here yeah, just kind of this area might put that in, but for now I'm just going to put an incinerator over here to deal with the uh, to deal with the garbage. So let's put you in. Let's just put you in there. Right. So that's the incinerator put in. So that should help our garbage situation. It's all filling in nicely, though. We're getting houses all over. Let's just get rid of the map so that we can see it properly. This is all starting to fill in. Uh, a couple of things. We, uh, we've got some water problems over here by the look of it. I saw some icons flashing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just need to put uh, a little pipe up there. Obviously, we've got electricity problems, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. What else? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to hook it up on the other side of the bridge. Now, the bridge, oh, um, Kingston Bridge, is actually four lanes. So we could put four lane bridge in. Ah, now, here's a tip, right? If you don't want the, the the bridge spans, you just want a plain bridge, if you put in a slightly curved bridge, so like it only needs to be like a tiny bit curved, it'll give you, look, completely flat, no arches or anything, look at that. Boom! So there you go, we've got kinks, and it gave me nice um, Nice bridge supports. Now Kingston Bridge is actually uh, a, a, an old stone bridge, but that'll do. That'll do, pig. Right, so we, we're hooked up to the uh, to the freeway. We can turn this back on now, which is uh, which is great news because 
traffic can start coming in from uh, from there. Now we've we the other thing is the A3 down here. Now this is a little bit more complicated. Take that back there, right? I'm going to take this back there, right? And then we're going to have a bit of um, bit of artistic license with the A3 because we're kind of going to have to. So what we're going to do with the A3 is have the A3 come in like across here instead of across here. So we'll like, there we go. And then all we need to do is hook this up to this. Now that one comes off this way. Okay, right, cool. So what we want to do is take... Now this is this is the left hand lane, so yeah, so this is gonna be going like that. And then we want this one like that. Cool, that works. So all we've got to do is hook this up and we're done. What about what about if we do it like that? Oh that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Right, so we're hooked up to the A3 out of town. So now the traffic can come up there and use that. And look, traffic's actually using this thing, which is kind of staggering. Oh, the A3 comes to life. My God, Kingston. We've actually got Kingston. It's so exciting. <laughs> I love it. I actually, uh, like while you were watching the time lapse, I actually sat and watched it and watched all the buildings come to life and whatever. And all the ham is coming together now. It's all filling in. That is my road up here. Cool. This is starting to fill in now. So I, I have to make sure that this is really like wealthy and whatever. Oh, um, you, you pro I, I think you saw me put in uh, a fire station. And this is where the fire station is. That's in the right place. Uh, Kingston Fire Station. Although, I need to find another fire station model because this, this is just not right. This is very American. We need, a, we need a, an English fire station kind of looking thing. And this hospital is way too tall, so I'm going to look for another hospital model. But generally, I have to say, I'm pretty happy with how Kingston's turned out. The, um, the only thing that's left, I'm going to turn off the bus depot for now, but we're going to have to very soon develop this down here into, uh, into Putney so that I can put the 85 bus route in and uh, we're going to develop the, uh, the, the train line across through uh, Rains Park, New Malden, uh, up through Wimbledon, Clapham, right up to town and get into the centre of London, put in Waterloo and the Houses of Parliament and the London Eye, and then, oh, oh, then it's going to be something. All right, guys, keep those comments coming in because I'm loving reading all your comments. Uh, if you've got requests, if you've got ideas, if you've got suggestions, leave a comment and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace out.